since iPad OS, most note-taking applications have the scanning feature built in. So, do we still need scanning applications in 2020? That's what we'll be finding out in this video. Hey guys, it's Rob Zipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to my channel, hello, fantastic human. Make sure you subscribe if you're looking for solutions to go digital with your business, work, or study. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. Do make sure your notifications are turned on so you know each time I release a new video. On the screen, I have Notability on the left and Scanner Pro on the right. Notability is primarily a note-taking application, while Scanner Pro, as the name suggests, is a scanning application, an application dedicated to just scanning your documents. For a quick scan without post-production, you'll probably not notice any difference when using these applications, both automatically or manually scan your documents, and that really depends on your mood if you want to scan your documents manually or automatically. But with both applications, you can adjust your scans after you've taken a picture to remove any excess surroundings you don't want in your scans. Once you are done scanning in Notability, you can add your scans as a PDF or as an image. You add this to your notes, the currently opened notebook that you have in the application. In Scanner Pro, you save them in the application. If you want convenience, I'd say stick with a note-taking application because they all scan into your currently opened notebook, whether you're using GoodNotes, NotShelf, all of them have the ability to scan into the notebook you currently have opened. This is really handy for lectures, meetings, classes, any scenario where you don't have much time to waste and you just want whatever you've scanned to go directly into the notes you're currently taking. Comparing the scans from the two apps, I couldn't really spot any differences. Notability has done a great job scanning this document and it's actually quite usable. It works. So I don't really feel like you'll be missing out on much if you decided to use a note-taking application to scan your documents directly into your notebook. If you deal with a lot of documents and you want to store and organize your scans without necessarily linking them to any notes, perhaps a scanning application is a better choice for you. Scanner Pro comes with post-scanning processing features that help you enhance your scan document. You can do a lot to your document in Scanner Pro than you can in Notability. And this involves rotating your scans, which you can't do in Notability. And that's just a problem with Notability. Other note-taking applications will allow you to turn your scans. The scanning application will have much more dedicated features that you will not find in a note-taking application. Where Notability and other note-taking applications offer basic OCR, which is basic OCR searching capabilities, most scanning applications can convert the scan into editable ones. You can convert your scans into editable text, which you can export out of scanning applications, which is something you can't do in a note-taking application. Um, that was a quick review to see if scanning applications are still relevant in 2020? And the answer is yes, they are, but not for everyone. For most note takers, the odd scan within your note taking application will do just fine. And so that means you don't really need to buy a scanning application if you primarily just take notes on your iPad. But if you want to do more with your scans and you want to scan and document or catalog a lot of documents, perhaps a scanning application is not such a bad idea. This brings me to the end of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.